Hey guys, it's Adrenus again, bringing you another tutorial. This time we're going to cover rapiers, and we're going to talk a little bit about the free fisherman skills and just kind of what you can do with rapiers, even if you don't have any big attack or crit damage passives. Now, this is going to feature two separate builds. One, I'm going to use a couple of really strong attack passives, but then I'm going to use almost exclusively free skills just so I can show both avenues of capability for rapier builds. So for the purposes of this video, I've chosen Demonic the Fallen Elven because I've recently done a speed run and you can kind of compare my times and I'll link that below. You can see I was still able to kill him even with the crit rate and the crit damage passive dropping my E Silica, dropping my Samurai Silica. I'm still only losing about eight, nine seconds on the run. But now I am still carrying Vet Kirito in this build. And I know some of you are saying, well, that's a lot of extra damage. Um, so we're going to do it again right after without that. But I'll show you the setup of the skills and what my base attack is and everything so you kind of get a feel. Now, remember, a lot of this base attack is the Integral Series weapon. It's the fact that it's already uh, ascended Integral Series. So I'm getting a little bit of extra attack from that. But the majority of that, again, is going to be weapon proficiency. Now, for this next run, I'm going to be running the free Kirito from the Alicization event. You can still obtain that thing right now. Probably most of you already have it in your inventory. And you're going to see, even without Vet Kirito, I'm getting almost that same damage. I'm running just a little bit less per auto attack and only a couple of thousand per skill less. So in the end, it's very, very close. And I'm actually going to end up only losing about a second, a second and a half on the entire run. Pulls in a little over 25 seconds, so a second, second and a half. Now, you might be saying, you know, hey, where's all the damage coming from if you're running very little attack passives? I, I don't have those passives. The Bandai's not been good to me on the banners. Well, a lot of it is going to come from your weapon proficiency, which is something you're going to hear me say over and over and over in my tutorial. So let's talk about weapon proficiency for rapier, which ones you kind of need to put your points into first and what you're going to benefit from it. So you've got rapier training straight up, your regular attacks, 10% more damage. You're going to do a little bit more on those auto attacks, which is a must for rapier because they're, they're not real strong on the regular attack grounds. Serial attack, the higher your hit goes, that's that little thing right there on the right hand side of your screen the higher it goes all the way up to 50 you're going to get more damage rapier's blow huge because every time you pop that switch 20 percent bonus crit rate that's when you're going to want to hit those bursts those big money skills use that switch right before so you can get that extra crit rate see that yellow damage not that white now basic stance that's one of those i don't usually tell people to get that early on hold that off till later till you've got nothing else to spend your rc on target weak spot huge huge must it uh, is going to give you bonus damage to thrust weak opponents which if you're carrying a rapier you're probably fighting a thrust weak opponent mark of the swordsman is another huge huge perk that you really want to get as soon as possible even if you build straight into it and just do the minimum requirements till you can get it for that extra sp so you're getting it back when you use skills because you're going to be burning it constantly with the, all that extra stepping now again the flat attack save it for later survival instinct Get it for the survivability. I have it maxed because of an axe main, but if you just need to get the five to move on to the next skill for now, that's really all I advise for rapiers. Lightning speed, huge, huge bonus because rapiers, again, you're going to do a lot of critting, so you're going to want that crit damage. Weapon knowledge, attack across all, it's going to help you unilaterally, so get that as soon as possible. Now, when you've got the rest of this stuff where you need it, Meteor is another one that you might even want to build straight into to go ahead. If you, have, if you don't have crit rate passives, you need to get this as fast as possible because it's going to give you crit rate every single time you step. It's going to help every skill you do. It's going to help you do what rapiers are supposed to do, which is a lot of crit rate damage, a lot of moving, keeping those hit counters up. You're going to be stepping a lot for the hit counters anyways, so get Meteor maxed. Rapier Secret, that's the last thing in the tree for a reason. It's the last thing you're going to want to do because it's strength only for Rapier alone. I'd hold that out until everything else was maxed or at least the minimum of what I needed. So remember with the Rapiers, the big thing, stay on the move, dodge a whole lot, stay in the blind spot behind the boss where you can be out of those hit boxes, keep that hit counter as high as possible, and let's see the that fun yellow damage instead of that fun white damage. If you guys have any questions, drop them in the con comments. Thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Hope this helps.